Hello and welcome to the St. John Fine Arts School Grade 6 MathCasts with Mr. Burko. This is the one for Chapter 8, Lesson 1, Identifying Angles. Our goal today is to identify and classify angles. We're going to use this system of signals uh, called the semaphore signals. These are um, flag signals that were created to communicate from afar and they are used often in the military as you can see here in this picture and they're also used in scouting. Here are some examples of a diagram using these flag signals and uh, the question on our page 244 in our textbook is what words can you make with signals that all have the same type of angle? You'll notice here that uh, this is a right angle so that's the same kind of angle as this one here, another right angle. This is called a straight angle and it's the same kind of angle as this one here. This is called an acute angle and it doesn't have a pair on this page. There's two other angles called an obtuse and a reflex. We're also going to talk about that later on in the podcast. Walid, one of the characters in our textbook, says that he's going to find the right angles and this is how he's going to solve this solution. So he starts by finding the letter B, which is a right angle, the letter F, another right angle, and uh, he finds some other letters that are represented by right angles. Now a right angle you can find in your world in many places. It would be maybe the corner of your page, the corner of your textbook, or your, maybe even your computer screen right now. Question B asks us, what words can you make with letters that are represented by a right angle? Well, here's a part where I'd like you to uh, take your turn, and I want you to find out using these letters that are on the screen which words you can spell. Pause the presentation and give it a shot. Welcome back. You might have found the word bin. You might have found the word up. You might have found the word bun. Here's another one, fun. Of course, there's lots of letters, uh, combinations that you can make with these and make up all kinds of different words, but here's a few examples. Question C. The letter A is represented by an acute angle, and that's because it's less than 90 degrees. Which other letter signals are acute? Well, here's some examples. I've thrown in two, though, that are not acute. So remember, an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. Which two angles in here are not acute? Pause the presentation if you have to and take a look and let me know. All right, if you were looking carefully, you would have noticed that the F and the E are not acute. All these other ones are because they're less than 90 degrees. Question D, your turn again. Which other letter signals are obtuse? Now, the definition of an obtuse angle is that it's more than 90 degrees. So there's two angles in here that I've thrown in just to throw you off. And I want you to figure out which ones they are. Pause the presentation. Tell me which ones are not more than 90 degrees. If you said W and G, then you're correct. Those two angles were thrown in to throw you off. The other ones are obtuse, but those two were not. Question E is, what other letter signal is a straight angle? Well, letter D is a straight angle, and that's because it follows a straight line. Here's the middle point, and that follows a straight line all the way across. So it's called a straight angle or 180 degrees. The letter L and the letter R are also straight, right across like that. Letter L right across in a diagonal line. Question F is, can Q be represented by an obtuse angle or a reflex angle, or both? And uh, so uh, an obtuse angle is one that is wider than a straight angle, so it's more than 90 degrees. And a reflex angle is one that is wider, wider than a straight angle, so it's uh, more than 180 degrees. So this one, uh, I think you'll agree with me, can be both, but you have to look at it in a different way. So here we have an example of a reflex angle. It's because this would be straight and it goes a bit past the straight angle. It's a little difficult to see here because it's not the right way, but if we turn it upside down, you'll see that yes, this could be an obtuse, or sorry, a reflex angle. This one down here is an example of an obtuse angle, one that is more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. And I'll flip that one over too and you'll see that uh, it can definitely, this angle here, depending on which way you're measuring it, can be obtuse, so here's obtuse, or reflex, right there. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching Identifying Angles, and I'll see you in math class.